Hey guys, in this video we shall discuss the strategy for 2021 UPSC CSE exam. So, what I'm trying to tell in this video is the macro plan. So, here I'm not giving any micro plan that is subject specific or the time specific plans. So here I'm just trying to let you know what are the areas that you need to cover and what are the different phases that you need to complete before the prelims examination. So guys this is a disclaimer and uh, uh, this is not an ideal strategy but it, it can be implementable and it is kind of practical and you can go through the video and um, make a rough sketch of the plan and start making your own micro schedule of this skeleton plan so i hope this video will be useful to you make sure you watch the entire video and uh, make good use of this video let's start with the video about the strategy for 2021 the prelim states and main states are announced Prelim state is on 26 June 2021 that is approximately 10 months and main states are from 17 September 2021 for 5 days that is 12 less months. So what we need to do from today and towards the exam how we need to plan the dates and our schedule. So let's see how we can do that. So till August 31st what you can do is you can watch topper strategy. You can watch topper strategy what happens with us is when we see a topper strategy we'll understand what are the areas that they have focused on and what are the important areas and then we can chart out our own strategy and implement that and do not blindly follow any topper strategy and if you do so even in the course of your preparation you will change it definitely because that was not suitable to you so do not uh, completely replicate the same strategy but watch a few toppers of uh, rank below or rank uh, 100 uh, below rank 100 toppers so that uh, you will get a broad eye idea about what the exam what is the demand of the exam and how you can uh, you know prepare yourself for this and then is take print out of the syllabus so syllabus is the important guiding um, what you can say guiding uh, uh, guiding principle for you so take the print out of the syllabus and read reread understand the core topics and uh, uh, know about the different subjects that are there from prelims and means perspective and read the subtopics you will understand what are the important areas and uh, next thing is preparing the book list so book list is very important you should definitely have a standard book reference list and how you can make this book list is from topping, uh, watching uh, topper strategy itself. If you uh, see them, see their videos, they'll mention book list, right? So note down few of the toppers book list and uh, uh, see which are the most important and relevant sources. And then you can chart out your own book list so that you not hop around your resources to change your book list and uh, this makes your preparation clumsy so don't do that and prepare a basic book list first and then add references to it and in case if you need any other reference add to that itself and then is deciding the optional subjects so from today till august 31st you can uh, watch optional subject videos of different toppers they'll tell you why that subject is uh, good for UPSC and why they have chosen and you can also uh, evaluate uh, your own parameters for example what was your uh, subject in degree and what was the subjects that you are interested in right now so that you can do so deciding the optional subject is very important and do not change it in between it will make your preparation really clumsy and uh, it's kind of time waste which I also did so don't do that Mm, and then is next four months what you can do in next four months is as i said i'm not giving you a micro plan but the essential macro plan so here first is optional optional both paper one and paper two both are important so give three hours and two hours with having two slots per day so 
three hours per paper one and two hours per paper two so th this is how you can give two slots and of five hours for option subject which is very essential for next four months starting from september to december you should give five hours per day and then go to general studies these are the core subjects right so polity history history consists of ancient medieval ancient medieval and modern india and geography economy environment these are like pillars of a uh, csc preparation so make sure you also simultaneously cover these subject for example you are doing 5 hours per day optional right and then you can go about doing 5 hours for these gs subjects taking two subjects simultaneously for example if you are reading polity also take history along with it polity history you can complete it at one go till if you take one month it's okay and I'm, and i'm not telling you that complete lakshmi kant in 10 days or 15 days and do this do that so that is not the correct way because every person is different and everybody needs a different approach to all the subjects and i also don't believe in completing a uh, reference book in these many days because until unless you understand a concept you should not move on because this is the starting of your preparation and do not do not be in a haste to complete all the subject and it will definitely turn out into a futile attempt because rushing into the things and not understanding the subjects is not so good okay understand this and uh, move slowly even if you are slow but make sure you are understanding everything okay and this is how you can complete this core subjects along with your option for the next four months so i am talking about the mean specific subjects okay after completion of the core subjects you can go about reading mean specific subjects what are the mean specific subjects here world history right so world history is not uh, for prelims and also indian society international relation international relations here in the sense issues based not um, prelims mcqs or prelims bits so here i'm talking about the issues be between neighbors and different countries disaster management science and technology and internal security these subjects you can uh, take up in your next slot of uh, next slot of study sessions after completion of core subjects so as i'm telling you the macro plan plan yourself and uh, plan according to your schedule but make sure you complete the core subjects in the first instance and then come to these mean specific subjects okay try to do this in these four months itself if not you can skip these subjects to after prelims if you feel so but make sure you complete these in the four four months at least first reading okay just have an idea about all this and then nice special emphasis should be given to ethics and essay so as you have already completed the gs and uh, your optional also which may be useful for writing ethics or essay so now you can emphasize on ethics and essay so for ethics you can make a good book list not many resources are required for ethics but make sure you read a, you read one standard book and and follow dk balaji sir's strategy which is really helpful i did the same and please watch his uh, strategy video or read the ethics strategy blog from his um, uh, i think it is available on insights on india so read that and for essay uh, by now you are ready with the knowledge of gs right which is very helpful in essay also so now try to write an essay so these things you can do in january and february also provided that you are very confident that you will clear the prelims if this is your first attempt and do not take the risk prelims is no joke so please start your preparation from january itself january to june you can give uh, most uh, like um, you can give 80% of your schedule to preparation of prelims and 20% to mains in that case you can follow this uh, schedule that ethics and essay could be done in january january and february okay january and february and then coming to prelims and mains what is a common common thing between prelims and mains one is newspaper reading which is very important for prelims as well as mains newspaper reading could not be 
replaced with any of the news analysis okay any of the news analysis any of the current affairs magazine so do not skip the newspaper right from today okay and next is ncrt ncrt reference books like lakshmi kant spectrum these are must be these should be read so make sure you are reading this for both prelims as well as mains and then making notes online or offline so guys i did both because depending on the subject and depending on the uh, you know uh, if the exam is approaching for example prelims is approaching then i'll make sure i read online resources and keep a note of them in a very uh, you know it's like a micro notes i'll make micro notes of them if i'm reading from online resources if i already have offline resource i'll make sure that i'll revise them again and again so what i'm trying to tell you is whichever whichever the way is comfortable to you and convenient to you do that but make sure you're covering the entire spectrum of prelims and spectrum in the sense the broad coverage of all the topics for prelims and mains perspective so guys these th these three things are very important for both prelims and mains make sure you read the newspaper and uh, ncrt's references making notes is very important for pre as well as mains both okay and uh, next is prelims specific revision so what you can do here is for prelims that is if you're starting in jan make sure you you go through the previous year questions first previous year questions will tell you what kind of questions upsc will ask and which statements which kind of statements are framed by upsc and uh, the demand of the prelims exam so going through previous year questions is very important i have already shared all the pdfs of previous year questions from 2011 to 2019 in the telegram group that is upsc aspirants club go through the telegram group files and download them take a print out and you should definitely solve them first do not see the solution try to solve on your uh, on by yourself and uh, after that check the key of upsc official key of uh, upsc in their website and uh, you can analyze the previous year questions and then as i said ncrt is very important and reference books like lakshmi kant and spectrum and next thing what you can do is daily mcq solving daily mcq solving is very important because here this gives the knack of solving mcqs mcq is multiple choice questions so uh, you can choose whichever the website you are comfortable with for example uh, insights on india or is parliament which is also very good for prelims uh, mcq solving is parliament which is an initiative of shankar is so go through this uh, daily mcq mcqs of these websites it is very helpful to you and try to solve it or go through monthly pre-storming of is parliament uh, a website and you can also solve monthly pdfs of mcqs in the website so um, do daily solving or monthly solving make sure you keep two days at the end of the month to revise the current affairs and uh, solve mcqs of that particular month and then is making notes so note making becomes very vital important uh, element in our preparation so do that but only after three readings at least three readings okay do not do uh, before reading and understanding anything okay and in the first instance don't rely on toppers notes okay so after three readings and after you understand the concept you can go through the toppers notes how how they have made and what are the important things to cover only then you can start uh, relying completely on toppers note if not i'll recommend you to make your own notes and that too topic wise take the syllabus and uh, make note of topics and then start adding con content to it if you're doing online make sure um, for example i have used one note so i'll make different pages of different subjects and then for them sub pages uh, with respect to topics subtopics and then add content to it so if you're choosing one note or one Evernote or even Notion, you can do this. Take the syllabus and make a rough skeleton of the syllabus and start adding content to it. And then CSAT. Also, we have CSAT, right? So, is it difficult and why many of them have failed in 2019 CSAT paper? It is because of time constraint and not difficulty. 
okay it was really a lengthy paper but we get only two hours of time to solve so even i felt the same because uh, because of the lengthiness of the paper so make sure you are doing time management while solving csat so do not neglect this start from january itself even if you are from uh, mathematics background or science background you can uh, go through the previous question if you are able to cross a cutoff you can uh, skip the csat and uh, if you are getting less than 100 you have to do and solve the problems of all the csat previous questions and this would be done if you are uh, falling short of any content for csat go through any youtube videos they all many are very useful if you want the sources also i'll make a uh, another video of all the subjects if you want me to make the resources of all these subjects and then comes means means is very important component of the entire preparation so from means perspective how you should approach this exam understand issues in news so this is very important understanding the issues in news and daily new reading newspaper will give you a comprehensive understanding of the particular issue in news and you should definitely make notes whichever the topic is in news so following a newspaper gives you the entire picture from the starting how it has started how an issue has started and how it is evolving by the time you write the mains examination unconsciously you develop that evolution of an issue in your mind even though if you have not you know no if you have not made any notes you can write something right so reading newspaper will help in this way and also you should start seeing the previous year questions so just observe how the previous previous year questions are framed and uh, how they are uh, given for example keywords you can make a note of a keywords like what kind of different keywords are used discuss and comment and uh, critically analyze analyze these kind of keywords so and also make note of these keywords and what we should write if these kind of keywords are asked for example discuss and uh, other keywords okay and next is keep detailed syllabus of the means examination detailed syllabus is mac micro syllabus of csc exam civil services exam so this you can find in gs core website ias code.in website so they will provide a pdf which consists of uh, all the micro topics of the syllabus download that and make sure you are making notes from means perspective using this detailed syllabus copy or pdf of my ias code dot in okay and then is listening to ar or rajas about discussion especially big picture so uh, whenever you get free time whenever do you are doing um, exercises or walking you can listen to all india radio or rajas about discussions which uh, will help you to know about the issue and how you can discuss a particular issue and the balance in the topics that they maintain is very important you to, you should understand how they are giving the positive points and how they are highlighting the negative points here you can learn that diplomacy of writing answers also which is very important for answer writing and next is topic wise notes yeah as i said after downloading the micro pdf go through the syllabus and after completing the concepts understanding the subjects you can start making topic wise notes and uh, i prefer online note making because it is very convenient it is very convenient and and you can easily organize things and subtopics and what you can do is if you are not comfortable with online note making you can use ring binders okay you can use ring binders for different subjects and uh, take a4 size sheets and make notes and bind it into them so this is also helpful to you but make sure it it can be adjustable that is you can reorganize and organize the uh, topic or your notes so if you are making notes in uh, normal books you can't add add something to it even if you are leaving some space it would become clumsy at the end of the day so make sure you are doing it in ring binders or online okay online note making apps like OneNote one note is very good you can use this or um, also notion whichever is comfortable to you so that is 
that is it guys so i gave this micro plan of all the um, you know of covering all the subjects and you can use it and make a sub plan that is micro plan and implement execute in whatever the way comfortable to you but make sure you reach these targets and uh, be ready for 2021 exam so the summary is that from september to december you can do optional plus gs core subjects and if possible you can do the main specific subjects and january february these two months give two hours two hours for optional or eight or 20 percent or 20 percent of your preparation for for paints related subjects and 80 percent for prelims if this is your first attempt make sure that you are giving this time 80 percent or 200 percent to only prelims because prelims is no joke prelims has become difficult over the years so make sure you are aiming to clear the prelims and then you, what you can do is from march march april may june till 27th you can completely focus on prelims completely focus on prelims and do previous questions solve test series of uh, two three uh, websites or two three institutes good standard uh, test books good standard test series so that you will develop option elimination method or you know at least try to clear the 50 percent of the cutoff that is 100 100 marks 100 and above okay and yeah i hope this was useful to you and as i said this is not a micro plan this is a macro plan plan covering broad areas of the examination and uh, how you can make a timetable this is like a uh, you know guidance to that plan so use this skeleton to make a sub plan thank you so much i hope this was useful to you see you next time